for running a brand new tutorial on explosions triggered when you enter an area. Let's get started by going to the area button in the roll up bar, then selecting a shape or an area box or sphere, whichever one you prefer, but I like the shape because you can fit it into any area easily. Now, lay out your shape. I'm just going to do a very random shape and change your height to fit just in your corridor or not that corridor but wherever you wherever you have it I don't know why I was thinking corridor but wherever you want to have it make sure it is above your head when you enter it okay now I'm going to start at 2.3 that is about that's a good height uh the way that CryEngine 3 works is when you enter an area, the trigger doesn't work unless your feet are in the area. So make sure that this, like your shape, is dragged below. As you can see, it is slightly above. So drag it down into your uh, object or your ground and make sure that these lines disappear on the bottom. I'm going to change it to display field so you can see it easier. Okay, now we have our shape. Now what you need to do is go to entity, then triggers, then area trigger. It doesn't matter where you put it. I would I, I'm going to leave it in here in my shape to know which trigger it, it well which shape it is affecting. And then once you've placed that, click on your shape scroll down here on the side and where it says target go down here to pick and then pick the area trigger that means they are connected now but you're not done yet now it requires some flow graph views go to open view pane in the view tab then go down here we'll go it's about halfway and then click on flow graph oh no there it goes now click on file new and then click on your area trigger and then once you've done that come back to the flow graph right click Add the selected entity. The area trigger is now in your flow graph. Now what you need to do is make it to where it enables when you enter it. Or when the game starts. Let's do it with the game start. So go to add node, game, start click on it and it'll place it right wherever you right clicked and then drag the output to enable and what this is basically saying is that as soon as the game starts the area trigger enables okay let, hold on for right now we need to scoot this up to the side well actually I'll bring it back over here. I'm going to go to View, Database View, and add a particle. If you haven't seen my tutorial on particle effects, or how to spawn particle effects, then watch my other tutorial. It'll be right here in this area. You can just click on that link really quick, and it will direct you to there. If not, and you've already seen it, then let's continue on. I'm just going to quickly spawn a particle effect, an explosion. So, oops. Okay, now I've got my explosion particle effect in my level. So let's go back to the flow graph. Click on your particle effect, 
then right click on your flow graph and add selected entity. Now, drag the enter to spawn and also drag the output from the start to enable. Actually, the enter to enable. And the output start to disable. So I'll leave this right here for a moment so you can keep track of it and it'll give you time to pause. And pausing's up. Okay. Whoops. Now, if we go into the game. Give it a second. First time spawned. Now the explosion may go off at the beginning, and that is a, I'll, I'll show you how to fix that in a moment, but the area is right in, about right in this area I think, yep. So it's right there. There's a line, whenever you enter it, explosion goes off. I don't know if you could hear me, but what I was saying is, as soon as you enter it, the explosion goes off. Because those footsteps were pretty darn loud. Okay, let's drag this back over here. And in a moment, I will show you how to hook it up to where it does not explode in the beginning. Okay, now I want to show you something. The way that I figured out how to make it not explode when you enter it again, and also to not explode when you spawn, is to follow this flow graph, and I'm going to show you what it does. See, it does not spawn when I, when I join. It spawns when I leave, however. But when I walk in, it'll explode. Walk out, walk in, no explosion. Now here, let me explain this to you. I changed a few things, and I'll let you follow this, and I'm going to explain it in detail. We take a game start. The output of the game start goes to the kill on the particle effect and the enable on the area trigger. The enable on the area trigger enables the area trigger, as you would expect. This allows you to enter the area and for things to actually occur from it. Without this, it's like having a switch, and if you switch it off, it's not going to work. The rest of the components aren't going to work. The, then take the area trigger, the enter on it, well, the enter on the area trigger, and then drag it to the spawn on the particle effect and the enable on the particle effect. This will enable it allowing it to spawn, and then it will spawn it. Then, from the particle effect, take the enable to the end on the time delay. The time delay can have any number that you want. I prefer one because it's, it won't let it explode, so you can't just like walk back and forth into it. And then take the time delay out to the disable on the area trigger. This means that after one second of the spawn, after one second after the spawn of the particle effect, it will disable the area trigger, turning off, basically turning off the switch and not allowing you to use it anymore. So, there you go. I'll crop this in, I guess. But, just look at that and, yeah. Thanks for watching. Killing for money. Signing out.